Hi everybody, it's Miss Ann. This is my daughter Megan. And we're back for another steamy Wednesday. This week we're doing something with art. Again, with things you can find around your own house. So today we're gonna to do some bubble art. So we have water and dish soap. And uh, to add some color, we're using food coloring, but if you have watercolor paints um, or even some uh, tempera paints that you thin out with the water, you should be fine. So we put a different color in each glass. We're using some short glasses and some little bowls. So we put red, yellow, green, and blue. And let's see, Megan, you want to give a squirt, a little squirt of dish soap in each one? Just a tiny one? Yeah, just a little bit. There we go. Let me add a little bit more to the first one. And I'm going to come along after and put a little bit of water in the bottom. I don't have to fill it all the way up, but look at the nice color. So now we've got just what we need, well, almost everything we need to make some bubbles. But as you know, we have to blow bubbles. So I'm going to take a straw and you notice we have our own straws. We're not sharing straws and I'm going to blow in and I bet we'll make some bubbles. Let's see what happens. I certainly did. How about you? Whoa, nice. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is then you can take a piece of paper. Would you like a piece of paper? Sure. Thank you. And put it right on top. Oh, take the straw out, of course. Yes. And I'm going to need a little more color, but let's try it again. And to mix it up. And the bubbles should put, make a pattern, a design on the paper. I wonder if I add more water and the bubbles are closer to the top. If the color will be brighter a little bit, but as it dries, it gets brighter. See? Oh, wow, that's cool. And you can switch. So, oh, and just so you know, we put some wax paper down on our table. You could put down a towel, or you could do it outside Ooh. where it doesn't matter whether it gets wet or not. But we knew it was gonna get a little wet, so we did put something down to protect the table. So now I'm using a different color, still using my straw. We're going to try it with the bowl and see if that makes any difference. I have blue. Megan has green. It makes really big bubbles. And then paper right down on top. I'm using my same paper because I'm wondering if it will overlap and make a design with different colors. You show the camera. She used yellow and green. And here's my blue and red. And as they dry, they actually get darker. Maybe we should add a little bit. Do you want to add a little bit Try more? Try adding of some the, more color? Yeah, or some more of the soap, or do you think we have enough? I think we probably have enough, but we could try a little more color if you want. Why don't we try it with your green and see if it makes any difference? Mix it around. And I'll try a little with my blue. Let's see. That helped a little. And as I say, mine gets darker 
as it goes along. So I could have blue and red and green and yellow on my paper. And let's face it, it's just fun to blow bubbles. Mm -hmm. Be a kid again. So try making bubble pictures using dish soap and food coloring or paint and straws and water. All stuff you have around your house. Enjoy the summer days and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.